Hey guys, welcome to part two of our September website webinar series. Today we're going to be jumping into our about pages, which will be super fun. About pages are all about your personality and really showing off what makes you unique and really connecting on a personal level, uh, an emotional way with your audience. So I love, I love me a good about page that shows your personality. It's going to be great. Awesome. So let me know who is here. Hi, Barbara. Yay, Barbara's here. Let me know who else is here and uh, where you guys are watching from. Um, and if you caught the last webinar, which we dived into your homepage design, um, let me know in the comments as I get stuff set up on the well, actually, I'm pretty much set up. Let's just jump in and uh, I'll come back to the comments. That sounds like a plan for today. All right, so I'm going to share my screen and then we can jump in. Continue our journey adventure. Oh, Della's here. She was here last time watching from Vancouver. Yes, I remember Della was here. And Tammy, yay! I missed you, Tammy. Good to see you here. Tammy's always a pleasure to have on a live webinar an absolute pleasure in wisconsin a wisconsin pleasure okay so i'm going to share my screen and doo -doo -doo. last time okay guys so let's dive right in last time we were designing our home page this is the home page based off of um using one of the themes in divi theme and I was like totally stumped on how to change this background color. Okay, I remember, and this one too. So I was like, what the hell's going on here? Oh my God, guys, I found it and it was so hidden. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so when you guys are using themes um, that from to be elegant themes, like I don't know why they decided to do it like they did it, but it is some of these, areas are hidden so like this green area i was like what the hell actually this one's even more hidden let's start at the bottom one which is just anyway so to change this i just needed to go into and hopefully you guys can see my screen yeah looks like it um doo -doo -doo -doo. so i went into design and so random guys it's in box shadow of all places. So if I turn off box shadow, there it goes. So for some reason, the background was set up as a box shadow. I think it's a good way, like if you want to do, you can see they have that little like bit of spacing on the right hand side. That's kind of cool. I mean, if you want to do that, go ahead. But if you don't, you can just turn that off and we can just set a regular background. Uh, let's just do green color here. Yeah. So awesome. That is solved, problem solved, number one. And then this one, it's actually in the module, and I'm oh, sorry, the row setting. So if I go in the row settings, design a box shadow, there it is. Like, showing up, <laughs> we're in a very random spot. Turn that off, and, oh, actually I don't wanna turn it off. I'm just gonna change color, I like it. So let's just change that color to the appropriate green. I actually like the other green better. I do this sometimes, guys. I'm like making my design, happy with it, and then I'm like, oh, I actually prefer that. And then I change it. So total permission to make changes as you go along. Just um, not too many changes. Don't, don't, uh, don't deviate. I'm like saying this, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll regret saying this. <laughs> Because some people, they, if you, okay, how about this disclaimer? If you are the type of person who falls into the design black hole and you spend a million hours on something, don't do that. Okay, ignore that advice. But if you're not, you're good. But some people, you know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. Let me know in the comments if I'm talking to you. <laughs> anyway, so that's the fix for that, guys. Um, done. Fixed it. I kind of like this weekly webinar where I'm like, okay, now I can fix stuff I can't fix uh, that I totally fail on live last time. How lovely. <laughs> anyway, about page. All right, so we're going to create an about page. We are going to use uh, the templates again with the makeup artist Divi theme. Again, um, we can do this totally from scratch when we will in future days, but for just the purpose of time, I'm using the templates from from uh 
from Divi thing because they're awesome and they save a lot of time. But we will, I'm going to do some, some trainings on from scratch design sometime, sometime in the future. Um, yeah, so they have this about page and I actually, guys, I don't like this type of about page. It's, it's okay. Um, I don't like it because there's a lot of just, it's just so boring. It's just very like, here's what I do. It's like a resume. Like, you're, you're like honestly, guys, especially, you know, as personality brands, like, you don't want your boat page to be like a resume. Like, that's, this is your time to shine. Your boat page is pretty much like, you want to, like, tell people what you do. You know, you want to convert them and you want to, like, show who you are. Your boat page, you want to show that personality. Like, you've got two places to really show that. Your social um, and one more kind of like three social, I'd say in your emails and on your boat page are the three places you want to show that personality. So I'm like so bored by this layout, honestly. Uh, there's some elements. We're going to keep this element here. Um, I don't like this. I'm going to do something fun with this. That's not so boring. <laughs> Get rid of the Forget that. Featured it is a good thing. Featured it is great because you show that social proof. Look at me, I've done things. Look at me, people people are acknowledging that I've done things. Area. Um, and the social media. This part's fine, but there's like it's lacking in in like personality. So anyway, I found this um uh the portfolio page and I thought it'd be really fun if we like look how cool this sort of um layout is. It's really fun. I thought this would be a really fun way to like highlight the audience so we could say something like uh, break down like the well you'll see what we'll do but I like this style and then this would be what we'll do is we'll make some like testimonial images and we'll make some like um, images that really show like what you believe what this imaginary person believes in that sort of thing so this is a little bit more fun and playful um, I'll show you guys my my website about page mine is super playful and, and animated and crazy so i have like animated gifs you know i have um little screenshots of what people say about me i have animations get I, I got a lot of stuff i have a story of my entrepreneur journey and gifts so you can go full on with your boat page um you can do a lot of fun things you have total creative license to do that so do you do you have fun with it get creative with it but we're going to jump in uh, into this design. So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to go to new page here. Also, for anyone who's just watching, like watching the replay or live or whatever, I'm just going to like jump in here. If you're, if I'm ever going too fast, <laughs> there will be a replay that you can slow down and pause. I guarantee a lot of people have done that. <laughs> it's like, I have no idea what she's talking about. Um, I'm not going to go into any basics or explain things today. I'm just going to show you sort of behind, like, like you're watching over my shoulder. Um, but I will be doing some basic stuff at another time or one of my classes, that sort of thing. All right, so let's use a blank page because we don't want to do navigation today. Let's go into TV Builder. And I'm just going to see what you guys were saying in the chat while we wait. Hey, Sherry, good to see you. Uh, Tammy says that could be me for the type of person that falls into the black hole. Totally, totally relate to that. Cool. All right. No one else is a black hole person? Good for you guys. Good for you. You've been watching and you've been on track. High fives. Okay. So let's go back to our boat page. I'm going to choose a pre-made layout because we're going to be using... Um, those awesome templates, like I mentioned. And what is this one called? It's a photographer one. Is it? I don't know. Oh, no, it's good. Okay, so we're going to choose the about page. Use this layout. Okay. 
Nice. And then I'm also going to add in um, another layout. So I'm going to go to the plus button here and use this to contact contact page two is pretty nice portfolio page and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not replacing existing content so that's not checked off and that'll add it at the bottom and I'm gonna delete the parts I don't want just organize the page a little bit Next week, I want to show you guys um, this animation tool I've been using for the Work With Me page. So I thought we can I can show you guys how to make some really cool portfolio, animated portfolio uh, pages. Oh yeah, because here, this is something I noticed. Um, Canva has uh, some animation now because animation is getting like animation's the thing, right? Like that's where everything's going. Um, but they've got some animated social pre-made posts, which is really fun. <laughs> and I was like, oh, does that mean we can upload GIFs, like animated GIFs? But I didn't see, I wasn't able to an upload an animated GIF. So that kind of sucks. So it looks like you can only use like their stuff, like pre-made stuff, but it's pretty cool. I want to like play around with this. It's really nice. Um, and like, oh, just so you guys know, we have our brand map created. For this project in Canva. So we have this as a reference, but we're mostly good. We can kind of play off the homepage today. We're all good. And anyway, that was just me getting excited about animations. But yeah, I want to show you guys some cool stuff next week. Where is my page? Okay, great. So I don't want this part. I'm just going to delete this. Delete the resume. No more, no resume about page. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Let's get rid of this and get rid of this. And then I'm going to bring this stuff into the middle. It's being a little slow. I notice, I think I need to empty my trash. I'm gonna do that. Oh wait, I deleted something I wasn't supposed to. Oh no, that's annoying. Okay, let's go back. Sorry guys. Go back. Let's go to this one here. I am going to empty my trash can. Probably should clear out my desktop. That's always a problem. Okay, so I accidentally deleted this part, which I want to keep. So we're actually just going to delete this part. There, we'll keep that part. And we'll. This, 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 and then let's get stay. And I don't need this gallery. And I can get rid of this. And this. Okay. So let's just save this draft for now. Um, so I have the general layout that I want to do. And then, actually, let's go back to our homepage because I want to try something out here. Divi has this newer, newish, last couple of months option where you can set like global styles for the whole website. So it means like I won't have to update all these fonts and everything that I did last time. So let's just see if I can make that work. I think last time I tried it and it wasn't working and I abandoned it. But let's just see if we can make it work this time. Didn't really. 
try to oh yeah it's not that bad. didn't really try to problem solve it but um couple notes here in the thing. So it says, hope all as well thereafter, Dorian. Yeah, we had the hurricane here. Um, wasn't too, too bad. We had um, some trees down and a crane fell off a building, which was pretty crazy. It wasn't too, too bad. Um, Bert says, is Divi a one-time fee or annual fee? Um, Divi is, I have the one-time fee that was 250 so it's two hundred fifty dollars lifetime, but you can do month yearly for sixty dollars or something, sixty dollars a year. Um, and I'll pop in my, as always, pop it in my affiliate link for Divi. Um, pop that in. Oops, that's not it. Delete. Okay, guys, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go back. Okay, so my cutter is saying, um, we're gonna go back to our home page. Edit with Divi. I'm gonna see if I can make some magic happen with the global settings. Okay. As you can see here, we have our font set up nicely. I don't want to have to redo this every time. So if I go into here and I go to heading text, heading one, there should be a new option. Maybe I can just do this for heading. Yeah, the three dots. So you can see the three dots here. Oh, Barbara, I forgot to make my cursor bigger. I promised you last time I'd make it bigger and I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> But I got to do that. And I was looking for how to do that and I forgot. Um, okay, so extend uh, make styles default. Yes. Let's see. Not doing anything. Okay, so I'm just going to save this and see if that affects this page. Did. Didn't change. So that's a little weird. Hmm. All right. Well, it did something. Anyway, it should change the font. Hmm. Okay, whatever. That's fine. We'll just. And it should have changed this font too. Hmm. Actually, no. Text. So yeah, let's change the font. Let's make the style default for that text. And then I'm going to make these default too for buttons. Uh, make the default. Okay. Yep, that's good. All right. Let's save that and just see, refresh this and see if that did anything. Hmm, I'm not. Then it's not working the way I want it to work. It worked with that. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to do some research into this. Um, yeah, I'll come back. We'll come back to that at another day. Oh, good. Another thing you can do, though, is actually I think you can just copy and paste these from. So if I go in here, actually just go. Right click this, go to copy module styles. I think I can actually paste it. 
paste module styles. There we go. Okay, that works nicely too. So there you go. Did something. That's also another backup. That's a nice little thing. I love that I can copy and paste between pages. That's just like beautiful. Okay. These. Um. And always edit and paste and some match styles, always the way to go. Let's look for some more stylist. Let's make this button go to the one on one. So instead of saying view my work, I'm just going to make this. I like to have that one simple call to action book me for a free console. Boom. Get that person on the phone even on your boat page really good to have those simple call to actions on there uh okay we've got our photos in here i probably use so you'll see here on like the home page we already have this photo so i don't like to repeat the same photos over and over so let's use a different one for I don't know if I saved anymore. Let's go and grab some from Unsplat. I think I did. They might just be on my desktop. Spoiler alert, got some vintage flowers we're gonna use for later. Very cool. All right. Um yeah, here's one. There we go. So we've got that. So we get our little home. Let's change this. Actually, what color did we set on? Yeah, the green. Let's change this to the green. Um, boom. Maybe next time I'll show you too. It'd be fun if this had like a little animation on it. Like, I don't know. In the corner, I like that idea. Anyway, well, I'll play with that for next time. Now we know how to change this color. Design box shadow. Oh, <laughs> this one's not in box shadow, guys. <gasps> Oh, no, no. It's because it's not in the row setting. Yes, here it is. How lovely. Oh, so annoying. So I just did the colors for the page, which is annoying. So usually I have these colors set. I'm like, oh, they're not set for the whole website. That's so annoying. Oh, yeah, here's a, these are colors from the, what are these? These are like most recently used, I think. Or maybe these are just random colors. Oh, here we go. Recent. Perfect. Um, there we go. Okay, great. So we've got this section done. Next section, I want to do something fun here. So uh, instead of showing services, I want this to describe. What was I thinking here? Oh, yeah. I So this is a good place to like describe like she's a personal stylist right so why don't we describe what her personal style is in a fun sort of engaging way so i thought i put in this little section here that says my dream wardrobe is and then show what she believes in um in the sections here so let me just show you what i mean um also this is a little funky let's get rid of this well i'm gonna add another section here. I don't need actually yeah let's move this up here and get rid of that and we don't need the space and I'm just gonna copy this module oh god I always do this guys This always happens. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Ah, 
I think what happens is sometimes I go in and press this hide button down here and I think it turns it off. So my bad guys. Uh, okay, so I'll go over what I was just doing. Uh, do you know what font they used? Um, let's see here. Anyway, this is what we create. Basically, guys, I'll show you what I was doing. You can see here. Good thing, actually, I was just doing stuff that you guys, uh, that didn't even work. <laughs> so luckily, there's that. Okay, so I went to copy module styles. And then I'm just going to paste module styles. So this was all easily changed, um, which is calling me. Um, okay, so now this was basically just copy and paste and I added text. So we didn't miss a whole lot here, guys. Luckily, luckily I wasn't showing you some cool stuff. Um, I'll have to look into the fonts, Barbara. Tasha, Barb, can you pay annual or, or lifetime? Barbara says, uh, love it. So Tasha's saying, I learned about Divi from Sarah. Absolutely love it. I own several themes. This is far the best. Good to know, Tasha. Tried and true. Divi fan for life. I'm with you. Uh, yeah. So Sarah got me Sarah on TV and it's the only one I'm learning. I love how fluid it is. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much because they're also always updating it and making it better. Like they just updated it um, a couple months ago to make it even faster. Um, I really do suggest, so I've been using it now with like a plugin for a caching plugin that makes it faster. You can make your website super, super fast with it too, with the proper plugin. Um, I'll talk about that a different time too. So yeah, I love it. Anyway, sorry guys. Classic Sarah, not sharing your screen. This happens. Luckily, this is like the, f I think this is the fourth week we've been doing webinars, and this is the first time I've done that, I think. So we're doing pretty good. There are some times, man, I have I have not shared like 30 minutes of like the most important stuff. So today, we, we're doing pretty okay. Anyway, so I'm down here. Basically, I'm editing. I want to change this up here. I want to make kind of like a more personal approach to this section. So I'm going to copy this. Excuse me, where is my, sometimes it doesn't, oh, there you go. So I, I was looking for this bar. If you're ever really stuck, you can just go over to the left hand side to the wireframe view. And then you can just, copy it from there like I go to copy module styles from there if it's like not being your friend but it's being my friend now so it's good awesome so I'm just gonna oh actually I don't want module styles I actually want this module so copy this actual module paste module cool and I'm gonna make this say let's get this inside my dream wardrobe. Did I spell that right? Who knows? Okay, um, and then let's center align this. So heading, biggest thing I find is sometimes I edit the wrong headings. So it's always set to one, heading one, but I'm like, oh, I'm actually not a heading one. So that's centered. Now there's all the space. Get rid of this extra space. Why do we need all this space? No. Let's bring some space from the top. Cool. Um, Barbara, are you asking about this font here? So this is, what's, what font is this? This is Playfair Display. So. The fonts they're using in the same are Playfair Display and Open Sans. Please let me be sharing my screen. Barbara says you are getting better at sharing. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara, for the vote of confidence. I need it sometimes. 
Candy says, do the, is the best. What's the super fun, uh, fast plugin? So the plugin I suggest is called WP Rocket. Um, I should get an affiliate link. I'm not going to put those affiliate links. Um, WP Rocket and um, used it on some client website. It takes makes it super, super fast. So love it. And it's a little more pricey, but it's worth it if you're like, especially if your website, you're sending like paid traffic to your website, or um, if you're doing like um, Google search, you really need to be at the top for your business. That's something you really want to look into. Okay. What am I doing? Okay. Okay, inside my dream wardrobe. So this is where we're going to give a little peek into inside who you are. You want this is a little section where you can talk about what your values and uh, what your dreams are, so your audience and sort of an emotional, just giving them a peek of who you are so they can connect with that too. So let's just say my dream wardrobe is magical. Yeah, style. Also, this should be heading five. This should be what's our other font? Oh, ground. This is tiny, too small. Thirty. This is good. And then the text should be. So I'd probably let's just copy these styles and paste them. Paste module styles, paste module styles. Love pasting me some module styles. All right, so next up I'm gonna add some images in here. This is where the vintage graphics come in. So let's go to image. Um, and I'm gonna upload some of these cool vintage flowers. As you can see. Now, the reason I'm using these is if you look at our uh, brand map, we have a bit of a vintage style to this, so I want to bring that in. You don't always have to bring that in on your homepage. You can use your about page. Your about page is kind of like a place you can have a little bit more fun, show off a little bit more of your personality. So let's make this a bit smaller. I like to set the max width because that works better on mobile. So I'll just say max width. Um, if you just set the width, you might set it to like, let's say it looks good on 150, but that might be too big or too small on mobile. So I like to do max width. And that way, if it needs to be smaller on mobile, it can be smaller. Um, for rich. And let's put this flower here. And also what I want to play with is just like a fine little hover effect. So I love that we can do these fun little hovers. So I'm going to go into filters and you can see here when you hover over, there are options like you can change it, change this on mobile. You can, um, this will give you like a tablet mobile views and this will give you hover effects. So you can go over to hover and let's just like change the color to that like nice greeny color on mobile or not mobile on hover so i think it's like close to that and then i might want to up the saturation here so it fits yeah, it's a little too green i want sort of like that mossy green color this actually yeah it's not Nope, just be real. Not quite where I want it. Maybe it's the brightness actually. Let's try it with the brightness. Yeah. And what is that color? I want that color there. So yeah, it's pretty close. Uh, let me see here. Let's up the contrast a little bit. There we go. All right, so there we go. That's kind of a cool 
thing. So let's just try this out. Oh, it's not on. We'll go back here to filters and hover. So now when you hover over, it's going to change the color, which is kind of fun. And I don't think it's working right now. Well, like on the um, on the Visual Builder, but if we go to save a draft, it should be working. So that saves. So when you hover over, it changes the color. Kind of cool. Kind of fun. Your bow page is kind of like a fun place to do stuff like that if you want to. I like it. Um, so we're going to do that for all three. You can just do, like, I think I'm not loving it. So now I'm like, I'll just do this for now. But I might actually make this gray. And then, yeah, actually, let's do that now. I don't love it. So let's go in. And I actually want the desktop version. I'm actually just going to get rid of all these because I didn't love it. Well, the design is not loving it. <laughs> Trying and testing. So let's get rid of all this. And then, so I'm going to make it no saturation. And then on hover, give it full saturation. And that's actually a little bit easier too. Perfect. Okay. I like that better. That way it will light up when you hover. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this. Yeah, copy it again. There we go. And then I'm gonna change these images. So I've got some cool vintage flowers. There we go. And then I'm going to make change the text. So the idea here is like you would talk a bit about what what your style is like. As, as this person's a personal stylist, I talk about what their style is. You sort of incorporate what the, your values are and your beliefs and that sort of thing. Cool. So that's that's a nice little fun piece. A little bit interactive, a little bit playful. Adds in the personality. Um, cool. So that's that part. Next up, I want to add in this part here where I want to showcase like really good part of your boat pages. You want to talk about your values, your beliefs, but you also want to like create a connection with your audience and show like that they are the right people. They want to see themselves in, in the people you work with. So we're going to use this section as a place to showcase who your dream clients are, or you can showcase like your existing clients and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go in here and I remove these images. I'm going to change, just copy this. Copy module styles. Paste module styles. Let's go in and say, my clients are oh we're using like the free version of this font so i can't have dots <laughs> unfortunately anyway whatever imagine the dots are there there's a little bit too much eh, that's okay you know it's still a little bit too much space so let's just there we go much better um and then i'm gonna kind of Let's say she's got like three sort of types of clients that she works with. So the first one are going to be dreamers. So I'll put these in. Dreamer clients. And new text H2. Let's change this to perfect. perfect. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create some testimonial images. Um, Go in here. So this would be great. I love that they have this like sort of flippy 
things. You could actually show some before and afters, which would be really cool if you were doing like any sort of business, like any sort of stylist or designer, or this would be a great spot to do like before and after. So, um, but we're gonna create a, let's go to Canva and create some images here. So let's go in, I'm gonna create a nice eight by eight or 800 by 800 image. So, it's great. So yeah, this is a, I really like this layout. You can do before and afters, you can do testimonials, you could do like, um, just sort of like, beliefs you could say my clients believe in um boldness and that sort of thing um one sec here just gonna so. hi hey I'm on a webinar right now. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> that was just my sister. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back. And I'm gonna make a little testimonial. And our design is pretty simple here. So I think I just want to use like a touch. It'd be nice to use like a little touch of purple for like the quotes, maybe a little flourish of those florals that we saw or something like that. Let me just take a look at our brand map here. Yeah, I think keep it really clean and simple. Actually, let's try to do two different styles and see what works nicely. Um, Oh yeah, I don't need to do this. And so I'll make a pretty looking quotation, but this one doesn't have a pretty one. Let's find a nice one here. Apple, no. I like ones that have like the more traditional quote. I'm just gonna text you until when I'm done. Hmm. None of these are giving me the quotations that I'm looking for. Nope. Okay, that's nice. I like this. Oh my goodness. So I'm using a French keyboard. My new laptop has a French keyboard. I like don't know how to do the other way. Oh my goodness, whatever. We'll just do them this way. And I want that color, so let's just drag our color palette in. There we go. So imagine that's flipped the other way. <laughs> that's just interesting. 
see here. Yeah, it looks silly, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to save a couple of these, and I just want to see what looks nicer. So there's one on a white background. You know what? That looks dumb. Why don't I just search, quote, I'm sure. Can't, oh, yeah, look, it's perfect. Didn't have to go through that trouble. Okay, so let's do this one, and we'll do our purple. Okay, so that's one option. Let's do another option with like a purple background. Um, oh, they have gradient backgrounds. So let's try it with like a pretty purple, purple to like gray gradient. Oh, this is not, this is just a one color gradient. Where are the two color gradients? This is cool. Mm. Really what I'm looking for. Hmm. Not seeing one that I can change the color. Hmm. Whatever. We'll come back to that. So let's just make this white. Let's make the text white and see how that looks. And I'm also going to do one that has a bit of, um, a graphic on let's do a green one with a bit of a vintage graphic oh actually let's do one that yeah we have these pretty images so let's do this with um a rectangle be hard to find. I find that with the new update Canva, I'm having a hard time finding just shapes that I want. The struggle is real. They need to like rework their organization of elements. Okay, so this can be brown, can be brown. Now, I see this a lot where the text is so close to the edges. This is just like my number one design pet peeve. It's like, you gotta give your design space to breathe. So this is like the most important part. There you go. Lots of space. Cool. Um, all right, so I've got some options here. I just wanna see what looks the best and then I can kind of recreate this. So let's go and just, actually keep this, just download these and I'm gonna save them as, PNGs, you can do PNG, JPEG will be smaller, a smaller file size, um, but PNG is a little higher quality. For these, I think PNGs should be fine. So let's just go. And. Okay, and let's try this out here. So I'm going to change really this image. This is where, and ooh, this is set up as a slider. That's pretty cool. I like this. Very nice. Okay, so I think this is under content background. Yeah. So let's choose these files. We've got three options here. So let's try the white as the first one. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So that's the white option. It's okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Um, let's try the purple and see how that looks. Yeah, I do like the purple a lot more. Yeah, that's pretty. And let's just look at the other one here too. That's pretty. 
that's a little too much though. So yeah, I think I'm liking the purple background. Um, I probably just adjust this little quote. I find the quotes a little like too much. Uh, I might just even just keep them in the text versus having a big, yeah, I just make it smaller. Also like this, I love this gradient that fades off, but it's making this hard to read. So I might just want to adjust that. I wonder how that's working. I don't know. Let's go to the background. Yeah, so there's a gradient. I would just like change the start position. So yeah, so if I move this, it, it doesn't blur it as much. So let's just take a look. That's a little bit better. Um, you might want to play around with that. Cool. Anyway, so there, from here, I would probably, so this would be our main client image. And then we'd have like, testimonials mix with before and after pictures in here. Um, so let me copy this. Each one. So let's go and paste module styles. So this would be another one of our clients. For me, it would be like, I would say something like my clients are, and I would say something like, spiritual leaders and then I would highlight like um sort of before and after of one of my clients websites that they worked on um and I would say my second box here I might say something like my clients are um uh VAs slash designers um and then my third one I might say something like my clients are um I may, actually, I might not organize it by like um, their job or what they do. I might actually do it like by spiritual because a lot of my people are very spiritual, magical people. I have a lot of people who are um, uh, people who are like DIY people who love to learn, love to like know what's going on in the design world. And I might say my third might, might be like, um, people who have an uh, eye for design, that sort of thing. So you can either customize it by like, oh, my, my clients are, let's say, coaches and creatives and blah, blah, blah. Or you can do it by like what their personality is like. So there's some cool things you could do here. Um, so I would just switch that up. I'm not going to change all the photos now, but I would definitely change these. Back, I would change the background here. Oh, right, this is not a background. Lock shadow. So, oops. Hmm. Maybe this one's different. Anyway, I would change those background images as well to match the green color. Uh, right, so. And this one I'm going to put Wild Hearts. So you could have fun with this. I really like this. Actually, I would love to do this is inspiring me. I think from the next next sales page or something like that, I'll use this format. I love it. So cool. Awesome. So, I mean, if we had more time, I would totally fill these out, but we don't. But you get the general. You can put images and stuff like that in there. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to do, so Della says, sadly, I have to leave for an appointment. We'll catch the rest on the replay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing up, Della. That's awesome. Um, so last thing I would do is probably um, have a call to action at the bottom. So I actually would save, I'm back to the home page, and I would save this as um, the quiz CTA. And I would say this is a global item, which makes it so that um, if you change this on one part of your website, it will change on any part. So you don't have to keep on redoing it. So I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna save this as a draft. And let's, I don't know if it'll let me, cause I just saved it. I don't know if it'll come up in here, but it should be under your save layout. 
or think so. Uh, not saying anything, but I think no. Okay, let's exit the Visual Builder for a second. And ooh, that's cool. I love that. So fun. My clients are. This is great. And then yeah, right after people, your clients are seeing like who they identify with, with who they are, like, oh, that's me. That's where you have a nice call to action. Be like, work with me. <laughs> so let's add in that call to action. If I have time, I might actually just update this for next week and then you guys can see the end result. I might play with this a little bit more. I literally like this layout. I'll probably play with this. Um, oh yeah, this is actually how you do it, I forgot. So I'm just gonna go click here, go add from library, and then I'm gonna click uh, quiz CTA. You can see it's a green. And once it's a green, go. And then we have our bottom section and then we're done. So that's my about page. It's a pretty like basic about, you can definitely go full on with it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a cool way. I'm gonna definitely, well, I shouldn't, I want to play with this more for next week for sure. And then we'll go into our about page and um, we'll go into our about page and, uh, oh, sorry, our home, our work with me page next week. And I'm gonna show you guys some animations too. So that'll be fun. All right, cool. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, yeah, that was, that was fun. I love, I love boat pages personally. I'm like, oh, I could do, I could show you guys, I could do boat pages all day. Um, there's so many different ways you can do it. Um, there's so many creative ideas you can have with it. So anyway, lots of fun to be had with your boat page. All right, so I'm not seeing any questions. Oh, Barbara says that was fun. Thank you, thank you, Barbara. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my try to make my cursor bigger this time. Like I said, I wish <laughs> so it's easier to see what I'm doing. Um, awesome. I'll see you guys next week with our work with me page. Um, this is a fun. I really like this design. I'm like, this is a nice feminine design we're working with. Um, yeah. So we have another. We'll do a work with me page. Uh, what else? Oh, we'll do a blog page as well. So it's great. Tammy says, so much fun. Always get so many ideas from you. Love you, Sarah. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I love you too. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. I always love having you guys here. Um, awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye.